joined our resident handyman, Barry Spokeshave, who's going to tell us the proper way to put up a kitchen shelf. No way. Phew, must be joking. I remember at school, the only thing I ever made in woodwork was a pile of sawdust. Not like Charlie and this brilliant reconditioned dishwasher he sold me. It's fabulous. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better get ready. <laughs> get ready if I can find a clean shirt. Oh, look at that. I don't remember drinking that. No. <laughs> Great. Switch on. Oh, God, a belly. What's wrong? That's not right. What's the instructions? Instructions. Check thermostat. Thermostat. Switch on. It's switched on. If all this fails, give it a... Hey. Oh, well. Oh, it worked. Now, I get dressed. Where's my socks? I'm freezing. Where's my socks? Ah, my slippers. I wonder where they had gone. Great. Now, my socks. Oh, I remember. I put them in the fridge to keep the cheese company. Good grief. They've set. Like a boomerang. Oh, God, I bet it. I hope that one doesn't come back. Why did the old lady knit her nephew three socks? I don't know. Because in his last letter, he had he grown another foot. Now, where's my shirt? I want a clean one. Ah, there it is. Thought so. A flower pot. Oh, it's a bit creased. A bit creased. My mother a good man. Look at the state. Anyway, <laughs> at least my trousers won't be creased. What a great idea. Look at that. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, hey, like a new pin. There we go. Another busy day ahead. Morning, Stu. Morning, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Stew, but there's a vest in your tea caddy. Oh, great. I wonder where that had gone. No, no, no! Don't use that bread. It's been down my trousers all night. There's a fresh loaf in the vegetable rack. Uh, why isn't it in the bread bin? What, with my slippers? Don't be stupid. You know your trouble. Mm. You're not fit to live in a pigsty. I am. Anyway, my flat's gonna be really tidy this afternoon. I've ordered a new wardrobe. It's got fitted drawers and shelves and built-in hangers. It's brilliant. Hey, I've got a wardrobe you could have had. Oh, just a minute. It's, uh, it's not a wardrobe, actually. It's a uh, fitted bedroom suite. Well, this isn't actually a wardrobe either. It's more like a, an oak cabinet. What kind of cabinet? A coffin. Howdy. Can I ask you a question? How do you make a dessert banana? No, you don't poke it in the eye and paint it green, because it's today's 60-second snack. And this is all you do to make a dessert banana. Cut a banana in half and peel it. Mm. Get a drinking straw. Carefully put it up here, so it's a bit like that. Dip it in some yummy honey. And over here, I've got a selection of toppings, hundreds and thousands, some sesame seeds, which are very good for the brain, you know. Ends up looking something like this. A couple of little holes out. I'm going to make two eyes with some sultanas, which are again very good for you. One berserk banana, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Here's some I've made before the show. That'll be my fitted bedroom suite. Hey, you'll have to teach you not to go around knocking on people's doors. Shut up. Come in. Hey, you're sweet, sir. You're not so bad yourself. Sign, please. Pisces, actually. It's the sign of the fish. Means I'm a good swimmer. Mind you, I've got a chip on my shoulder. <laughs> hey, Stu, uh, it's a bit thin for a wardrobe, isn't it? Fitted bedroom suite. Ooh. I don't like the colour, either. Ooh. It's still in the box, you Wally. Mind you, I thought it'd be deeper than that. Still, let's get it in. Have a good look at it. Do it yourself. All right, shorty. I am doing it myself. No. It's in pieces. What? You've not dropped it, have you? If you've broken my wardrobe, 
a fitted bedroom suite. Yeah. It's meant to be in pieces. It's a do-it-yourself kit. Lengths of wood and screws and that. That's stupid. That's like selling somebody a pair of knitted needles, a couple of sheep, and tell them it's a do-it-yourself woolly jumper. I've been done. Take it back. They're dead easy to do. A child of five can do them. I haven't got a child of five. Take it back. Hang on, Stu. I used to be a joiner. Get... Oh! The only thing you ever joined was the brownies. Now take it back. But I'm a do-it-yourself expert. Huh? I know. Whenever I ask you to do anything, you always say, do it yourself. Take it back! What do you get if you cross a postman with an Alsatian? I don't know. A postman that bites his own leg. Oh, I must be crackers. What's the instructions? Here we are. Instru God and Bennett. This kit contains absolutely everything you need to make this fabulous fitted bedroom suite. Except a hammer, screwdriver, electric drill, six extra screws, because there's never enough in the first place, a circular saw, a first aid kit to get all the splinters out of your finger, two pints of blood, a JCB and a bulldozer. It doesn't say that. It might as well do. Anyway, come on all this while I cut these lumps off here. Lumps? Look, get off lumps. Those are the plugs. They make it all fit together. I've got some six-inch nails for that. I thought you used all your nails up laying your carpet. I did, but I bought some more when I was putting the wallpaper up. <laughs> What's wrong with wallpaper paste? Who's ever heard of a wardrobe being held together with wallpaper paste? No, I didn't I mean don't that. Know. I got... Oh! You haven't, you haven't got any wallpaper paste. I think we'd better read the instructions. First, construct bedroom cabinet section. Take base A and batten B and join with strut C. Right. Base A. Ah, yeah. Now, Charlie. Yeah. See if you can find Batten B. Batten B. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Not Batten B. Batten B. Sorry, sorry. Batten B. Now, here. This might be it. Now then, Strut C. Do you know what a strut looks like? Oh, yeah, I know what they look like. It's one of. <laughs> Not that strut. You're not taking this seriously, are you? Here, you read the instructions. Right, right, where we are. Right, yeah. Right. Base A and batten B are joined with strut C. Got it. Then base A can find batten B and then place in left lug hole. Like that? No, not that lug hole. The one in base A. All right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. All right. Now then, that's it. It goes in there. Yeah. Right. It's a bit tight. Needs a tap on the end. Not that tap! So, don't get your knickers in a twist, Stu. I was only joking. Anyway, I've got one of them things, you know, well, one of those big things, what do you call them? Um, you know, with a big wooden head. Uh... Oh, politician? No, um... Radio one disc jockey? No, uh, a mallet. That's, That's it, a mallet. Right. That's it. I've got one out there. Oh. You go and get it. Right. Right. Got it. Right, I'll hold it. Yeah. And when I nod my head, you hit it. Yeah. Okay. Hands up all those who love bangers and burgers. Me, 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 I do, I do. Right, well, you'll love this one then because it's not only healthy, but it also includes bangers and burgers. So, here are my ingredients. First of all, I've got four skinless sausages in here. And to this, I'm going to add some mixed herbs, some bran, some wonderful ketchup, and some cornflakes, believe it or not. So here we go. Two teaspoons of mixed herbs. Some bran, which I've soaked in milk. And the reason for that is I want it to be soft and squidgy. Everybody loves tomato ketchup. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Big wooden spoon. Stir it all up. Make a nice mess of it here. As you can see, really gungy, really horrible, and you're all saying, oh, what is this mess that Caroline's cooked up for us this week? I couldn't possibly eat that. Don't fret. Trust me, and all will be revealed. Just give it a good old rough bash around there. And what we're going to do is take a quarter of these ingredients, put it on the board, and make it into a burger shape. So here we go. Ooh. There, make a big one. Move that out of the way. Right. 
This is a nice gun to put for your hands. Have a good old squadge of it up. There. Sort of a burger shape, would you agree? Yes. Handful of these wonderful things you eat for your breakfast. Put them on your board. Squash it down. You can really make as much mess as you like because there is no way you can do this and be neat and clean. There. Get as many cornflakes as you can on top of your burger shape. I think that's about as much as I can get on there. Right, and on my cooker now, I've got a frying pan with a little bit of sunflower oil in it, which is good for you. Now, if I did this, not only would it be a very silly thing to do, but it would hurt. So be very careful when using a frying pan. So this is how you can do this without burning your fingers. Put it on there, get a knife, and just ease it into the hot fat. Keep well back from it, and always keep the handles pointing in. Right, shift it around in the hot oil for a bit. And don't worry if you haven't got all the ingredients written down, because you can always write in for our cookery sheets, the Crazy Kitchen Cookery Kit. And so give it a bit of a splash. Get your knife. Turn him over. There, it's already beginning to brown up. So it is beginning to look like a burger. Hold on. Mm, and it smells really yummy too. Right. Just take it off. I like them quite rare, but you can cook it for as long as you like. Take the oil off the heat. Put it on a plate. Walk this way. And here I've made some for my tea already, because I've got an absolutely huge appetite. Put it on your burger bun. And with a little bit of dressing, there are your Bran and Banger burgers. What do you think of it, Stu? I think four more draws, we could have won the pools. What do you call a bedroom cabinet that sags in the middle? I don't know. Droopy drawers. I'm not sure about this coffin, Charlie. Well, not? I think you've got a good swap there, Stu. I won't fit all my stuff in there. Of course you will. Look at that. It's made to measure. Oh. Hello, Caroline. Hi, Charlie. What you got there? Is that bananas? Good wholesome food. Mm. Give some to Stu. He's having a coffin fit. <laughs> <laughs> 